make this video it's super windy and I have to hold on to this microphone because I don't want the audio quality to get messed up. But I just told God, by the grace of God, the video will be done. If it's God's will, if it's not, I wasn't going to be stressed out. But thankfully, everything is working out in God's favor. And uh, as you guys tune in here, uh, make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel. This one's going to be about uh, not being afraid to walk alone, to walk the narrow path, to walk the righteous path with God alone. And this is what comes with it, guys. That's why the Bible says that the way is narrow. And I remember going through this. I remember going through this when I was younger, when I when I was first walking with Christ for the first time. And it brought a lot of uh, pain, a lot of suffering, you know, through much knowledge as much grief, through much wisdom as much sorrow. It brought a lot of that, you know, to know that, you know, God chose you at a specific time. And the people that, that were around you, your friends and family, not to say that they can't be chosen ones too, but at the moment, he only chose you. And they're not able to understand what you're going through. They're not able to understand the wisdom and knowledge God has been blessing you with. You can now see into the spiritual realm. You can now see the demons at work. You can also see the angels, okay? The angels fighting for you in the spiritual realm at work too as well. Because best believe, when you give your life to God for the first time, spiritual warfare is going to turn up at a high at high intense, okay? If you don't have wisdom, if you're operating in the spirit of fear, uh, the spirit of confusion, or any spirit that's not of God, you're going to be swept away, okay? Luke chapter 8, verse 11 to 15 talks about how the sower sows the word. And there were some seeds that were so, sold on good ground and some seeds that were sold on bad ground. Also says that the seed that was planted in someone's heart, the devil comes and takes it away. That's exactly what happens. A lot of you guys experience this where someone was telling you the truth and here comes the devil using somebody. Or it could be the devil himself to take away that, world, that, that seed that was rooted in your heart because that seed is going to be growing into a big old tree. Okay, and that, and that big old tree is now people are going to be eating off your tree. People are going to be eating off your tree. Now you're going to be able to win over souls for God's kingdom. The devil doesn't want that. The devil wants you to stay on his side of the army. Okay, the devil wants you to be in, uh, to be overly religious. Okay, he wants you to be operating in just a flesh, flesh, flesh. Everything is a flesh. Okay, that's what, that's, that's, what it, that's what it is. That's what we're living in today, guys. So if you guys are just not jo joining in, make sure you guys like the video, guys. Like the video, get it up so other people can see this. I'm going in, guys. You got to walk alone. Don't be afraid. What's up, Rollo? Yeah, like the video. What's up, uh, Castellito? Thank you so much for becoming a member. Thank you, man, uh, man on the seat. Thank you, bro. What's up, Northern? What's up, John Doe? I'm going to greet the people. What's up? What's up? Okay, what's up, Susan? What's up, Susan? What's up, Leslie? What's up, Leslie? Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33 says, For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace as all of, in the church. In the church, I can't. Uh, the churches of the saints. Okay, sorry. My fault. What's up, Jasmine? Okay, I see the chosen ones in the building. Okay. What's up, Courtney? What's up? What's up? Okay, I, let, let me talk about this real quick, guys. Because when you give your life to God for the first time, and you start to, you want to glorify God because you're not ashamed of the gospel, uh, of the, the gospel, of the Bible. You're not ashamed of Christ. You're not ashamed. So you're going to be, you're, you're now no longer using your social media to just be vain, to just be taking selfies, to showing off your body, uh, showing off material possessions. You know, stuff like that, right? There's nothing wrong with taking a selfie. Like, you know, use wisdom to what I'm saying. You're now going to be on social media because God's convicting you strongly. And when God's convicting you strongly and you don't act on it, it brings a lot of grief, okay? God won't give you peace until you change that, okay? So when God's giving that conviction to, you know, use your all those followers you got on social media, use it to glorify him. And once you start doing that, you start to see people start to change up. Friends start to change up. Family, why are you posting that? Who's this God you're serving of? They're going to try to bring up your past. Guys, these are all demonic attacks. When someone try to bring up your past, when you first pick up, you know, want to decide yourself to pick up your cross and follow Christ, deny yourself daily, and people just start bringing up your past and, you know, throwing all those seeds of doubt and confusion. That's a devil, bro. That's a devil. And never be ashamed. Never be ashamed because I'm telling you guys, you keep on doing the right thing. You keep on sowing righteousness. God will reward you. Okay? When I was, go when I was going through that lonely phase, that isolation phase, when, what, what is the reason of you being alone? Okay, now some people could be alone to do self-harm. People could do it for the wrong reasons, okay? But you also could be alone. You could spend time with God. Now you could read, you know, study to show yourself approved, okay? Uh, maybe some of you guys want to be content creators. Some of you guys want to hit the streets and preach, hit the highways and byways. Or maybe you make YouTube channels, TikToks, all these social media platforms these days, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, right? But before you could do that, before you could put yourself in a position to do that, you have to study, and, you know, when you're alone, when you're isolated, okay, now you have no longer those distractions, okay? You're now stronger. It's now you're easily able to resist those temptations, okay? You're now able to resist those temptations. 
And, you know, you know that even though you're resisting the devil, he's still attacking. He's still attacking. But you know the word that says, submit yourself, therefore, to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So in due time, the devil's going to leave you alone. And see, when the devil leaves you alone, you're going to notice that all your friends are going to leave you alone, too. <laughs> they're not going to, all oh, your so-called friends, all right? They're not going to hit you up no more. Now, some of your friends, they're not hitting you up no more because they respect your walk. And they respect that, you know, you're trying to live for God. And they're still living in sin, and they don't want to, they don't want to drag you along in it. So they'll they distance themselves from you, not in a negative way, because maybe they're not strong enough. And like I said, guys, God calls people individually. He doesn't just call everybody. Okay, many are called, few are chosen. At a certain time, okay, at a certain time, you can have a friend of ten people. God calls you. Okay, the other people are not being called. And you gotta understand this too, guys. There's a lot of people on this earth who were called, who knew the way of righteousness, who knew Christ, who knew the love of God, who knew the Holy Spirit, who knew the Word of God, and they still do know the Word of God. But they chose Satan. They chose to go back. There's going to be a lot of people like that. There's a lot of people like that, guys, in the world we live in today. And see, these people, ooh, ha, ha, these people, they were given over to a reprobated mind, man. The Bible says uh, that God will give, uh, give over to a strong delusion for those who receive not the love of the truth. So those people who departed from the narrow path, which is life, which leads to salvation, those people who went back to Satan, that broad right gate, they're given over to a strong delusion. They're given over to a reprobated mind. So, you know, you try to plant a seed in them, it's a waste of time, okay? Well, even, even Christ tells us that we're not supposed to uh, cast our pearls upon the swine. So always understand that. I understand a lot of you guys, you love God. You want to you preach the word to uh, many people, and that's a good thing. But some people, they're not able to accept the message. Some people, they don't want to accept it. Maybe they already did accept it uh, when they were in their youth. Okay, thank you so much, Sydney, for the super chat. Maybe they did accept it in their youth when they were 10, 20, but they departed from that path, okay? And they wanted to choose Satan. The reason why people choose Satan, guys, is because of flesh. It's easy. You know, guys, if it was easy to serve God, everyone, everyone will serve the God. Let's say, if it was, let's say if it was reversed, where it was easy to serve God and hard to serve the devil. You know how much people will be living for God? There'll be many people. But God chose you because he knew you were strong. He equipped you, okay? Many people are uh, living for the devil because it's easy. You don't have to go through the shame. You don't have to go through the humiliation. You don't have to go through the betrayal. You don't have to, well, everyone gets betrayed in life. Well, not, maybe not everybody, but most people do. You know, but you don't have to go through people looking at you weird or crazy because you want to live for God. You don't have to go through that. People accept you because if you were of the world, the world would love its own. The world would love its own. And someone said, why am I holding this? It's a microphone. If I put it on my chest, the, the audio quality might be kind of bad. So I got to hold it. I know. I, I tried, guys. I tried everything. I'm also going to be getting a better tripod, too, as well, because I thought all tripods were the same, but um, I had learned that the hard way. It took me two hours to make this video just to get everything in set, man. But like I said, the grace of God, God's will, his will be done on earth as it is in heaven, okay? Also, speaking of that, you know, when God keeps you alone, it's time to pray. It's time to get into deep prayer. The only way you're going to overcome your sin, guys, is not only through prayer, okay? It's also through fasting. How many people can say that they're fasting? Thank you so much, Angie, for the super chat. How many people can say today that they're practicing fasting? They're practicing going 24 hours or it could go 72 hours, 48 hours. I have many videos on fasting. So if you guys want to check that up, just type in Mark the Messenger fasting. It should pop up. How many people, people tell me, Mark, you know, I'm struggling with this sin. You know, how do I overcome? Mark, there's a stronghold that's keeping me in bondage. How do I overcome? It's the, Matthew chapter 17, verse 21. This, this some certain spirits cannot only come out but by fasting and prayer. And see, this is the reason why you have to read your Bible. You have to study to show yourself approved. Yes, you can watch my content. Yes, you can watch the other YouTubers or you can go to church and watch your pastors. Nothing wrong with that. But are you studying yourself? And this is why sometimes God could put you in the isolation where he could put you alone so you don't have those friends tempting you. You don't have people distracting you, most importantly distracting you. Because I noticed when God put me alone, there was no more distractions. Yeah, and before, before... When, when I first put my, uh, when I first denied myself for the first time, when God uh, was calling me to become a chosen one, right? Um, you know, the devil was attacking hard. He wouldn't leave me alone, bro. He was using uh, ex-girlfriends. He was using, you know, old friends who I used to, you know, do worldly things with, okay? Uh, trying to get me to go back to my old ways. And that's what the devil will do, okay? But when I resisted, when I, when I submitted myself, therefore, to God, and I resisted the devil, they all left me alone. They all, you know, the devil had to flee. He had to leave you alone eventually. He has to. And see, when that happened, now I found myself alone. But see, when I found myself alone, no more distractions. No one hitting, hitting up my phone, uh, DMing me, uh, let's chill, let's do this and that. No more. People left me alone. And that, now that I'm alone, now I can read my Bible. 
Now I can study to show myself approved. If I didn't read my Bible, I wouldn't be able to get on here and make these videos, guys. I was suffering. I was suffering. And in life, guys, to level up, if you want to level up with God, you have to suffer, bro. Even the Son of God, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, he suffered. He suffered every day. When you're denying your flesh, you are going to suffer. You have to expect that. And also, you have to expect your family, those who have your own household, turn it against you. Persecution, you have to expect that all because of righteousness. So you're going to be suffering a lot. And like I said, guys, a lot of people, they suffer. They suffer for a season, okay? But they miss, they miss the pleasures of sin for a season. They miss that, and they go back to their sin. They go back to their vomit. The Bible says a fool goes back to this vomit. You don't want to be a fool. You want to be led by wisdom. You want to be led by the Holy Spirit. So when, when, you're, when you're wondering why no one hits me up no more, you, you're more like alone or quote-unquote lonely. But in the spiritual realm, always understand that God, not only is God with you, the angels are with you. Angels are camp those who fear God. Okay, that says that in the book of Psalms. So when that is happening, okay, when you start to notice that people don't want to be around you, uh, you, you know, you're just kind of like more quote-unquote bored, okay? In that, in that time, you are suffering. You're no longer living in sin, okay, living in willful sin. You know, you're living a life of repentance. If you do fall short, you're repenting, and you're doing your best to, you know, because remember, God knows your heart. You can say this and that, this and that, but God knows the heart. So you can only fool, you can fool yourself, you can fool the people around you, but you can't fool God. God knows those who are trying and understand this. You guys ever wonder, you know, the people when you remember, because I remember my 20s, right? The drug dealers, the scammers, the prostitutes, they were living their best life, right? And I'm like, how come these people are living their best life and they're, they're, they're doing evil, right? But the Bible says you're not supposed to envy the wicked. And the Bible also says that uh, uh, be not deceived. Whoever sows to their flesh, you know, shall reap corruption, okay? So those people who are doing evil in due time, they're going to they're gonna be suffering for the wrongs, not suffering for righteous sake. They're going to be suffering for evil. They're going to find yourself in many sorrows, okay? Because like I said, or like the Bible says, whoever sows to their flesh shall reap corruption. That's why God says you're not supposed to envy the wicked. So when you're in the isolation season, when you're alone, and, you're, and you open social media, okay, you open social media, you open Snapchat, Instagram, and you're looking at your friend's stories and you're wondering, right, damn, they're living the best life. He who sows his flesh shall reap corruption. The thing about social media, no one posts when they're down bad. No one posts when they're sad or depressed or when they're going through it. They only post the good. And that's why in my video I uploaded on my main channel, it was talking about um, God leveled me up and I'm depressed. I have to let people know the other side because it's not always happiness and happiness and joy. No, sometimes you're going through it. Even the son of God, Yeshua, went through it too. So I have to show people the real side. Social media is so fake. People only show you the good. They don't show you when their car gets repossessed. They don't show you when uh, their girlfriend just cheated on them or their boyfriend just cheated on them. You know, they don't show you that. They don't show you that. They only show you when they're kissing, you know, kissing each other or when at the fair or, you know, looking cute and pretty or when they got their new car, they're not showing you the bad. So, you know, I have to always, that's why I've been very transparent with you guys because I just let you know that it's not, it's not easy. I fall short just like all you guys do. Someone said a fool returns to his own folly. Yep, a fool returns to his own vomit. Yep. Yes, sir. Someone says I struggle with fasting. There's some things you could do, guys, to make fasting a lot easier. Now, we all have different bodies, okay? Some people have, you know, some people, it's easier for them. Some people, it's harder for them. But for me, what made fasting a lot easier, I fasted at 6 p.m. Okay, and the reason why I would do this, I would fast at 6 p.m. I'll eat sea moss. Okay, the reason why sea moss is good because it has 92 minerals that the body needs. So when you're when you're actually eating real food, you're gonna be more full. Okay, and I have a, you could say 20% off. I'll leave it in the description. I don't know if I put it now, but after this video, I'll put it in the description. But you can see it has 92 minerals on it, right? So I would eat two two tablespoons of sea moss. I'll eat real food. I'll eat eggs and rice. I'm not eating McDonald's, In and Out. Five Guys, uh, Wingstop, that's fake food. That's why you eat that and three hours later, you're still hungry because it's not real food, okay? Now, you have people saying they have human meat. Hey, that's for a, that's for a different video. I wouldn't be surprised about that, okay? But I would I would eat uh, a big, a real meal, rice and eggs, sea moss, um, some, um, some fruits, cherries, strawberries, uh, maybe some veggies on the side too. I'm eating real food. Now, I know we're in America, we're in Babylon. So what's really real and what's fake here? No one really knows, man, because who knows? Unless, we're, unless you're growing it yourself, then you know. But when you go to the store, guys, who knows, who knows if it's organic or not? Who knows if it's grown with pesticides or chemicals? This is Babylon. Okay, this is Babylon. So you know, who really knows? Unless you're growing your own food. Okay, but I would eat real food. And then, so I'm not hungry when I go to sleep. Okay, I'm not hungry when I go to sleep. And when I wake up, the, yeah, the, the urges do kick in. But like after I resist it for two hours, then I stay busy. I'm either making videos, editing videos, making a thumbnail. I'm always doing something to stay busy. And then before you know it, you know, the fast is about two hours till it's done. 
Okay, so stay busy is key. Stay busy, uh, stay busy and stay disciplined. And like, and this is this is what keeps me going, not just on my fast, on this narrow path too. All you guys in here in the narrow path, what should keep you going is that God blesses you for your obedience. God blesses you for your just like think about it. You all you uh fathers, all you mothers, you have children, okay, or those who are aspiring to be fathers and mothers. Check this out. When you give to you, let's say your your child gets good grades in school, or maybe he scores a lot of goals in the soccer team, you know, or he's a basketball, whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, right? And you reward him. Okay, you know, he did that. All right, I'm gonna give him this, I'm gonna give him that. That keeps the son motivated. It's the same thing how God blesses his children who are obedient too, because he knows that, okay, he's doing good. I'm, I'm going to give him good. You're so into the spirit. I'm going to give you life. I'm going to give you peace. I'm going to give you joy. I'm going to give you all these things that money can't buy. That's how God works. So always understand this. When you're suffering righteousness sake, when you go on Snapchat and you see everyone live like the world and you start envying the wicked, which the Bible says not to do. Okay, so you don't want to be doing that because you know in due time, everyone reaps for themselves, whether they did good or whether they did evil. Okay, someone said, Mark, this warfare is no joke. Oh, of course it's not. Of course it's not. It's no joke at all. You know, and it's really, it's people, people laugh and scoff in the comments like, oh, you're, you know, because I made a video yesterday talking about witchcraft, you know, and a lot of people, they dabble in the tarot cards, the astrology. They dabble in, um, you know, all that witchcraft stuff, right? The, the sage burning. Uh, I mean, the list goes on. Listen, I, have, I have many videos on those things, the new, the new age occult, all those things, right? And, you know, they laugh and scoff like, oh, that's not demonic. You know, that's that's of God and stuff like that. Or, you know, smoking weed, that, you know, that's okay to do, right? But I tell people, go 30 days without it. Try to go 30 days or uh, 90 days without it and see what the devil does. Okay, you want to subscribe to all those tarot cards and all those witches? Because they're witches, guys. All those tarot cards are all witches. But people don't have discernment. They don't, have, they don't know, okay, because they're deceived. Satan deceives the entire earth. And how else is he going to deceive the entire earth? By using those who are in darkness using those who are of his kingdom, Satan's kingdom. And there's a lot of people too, I gotta speak on this, bro. A lot of people think there's like a middle ground when it comes to God and the devil. There's no middle ground, guys. There is no middle, there's no God's kingdom and then God, you know, a love kingdom and then Satan's kingdom. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Please understand that. Please understand that. Disobeying the word is witchcraft. Uh, it could lead to, it could open those doors for witchcraft. I agree with that. You know, I, I could, it could definitely open those doors for witchcraft. And like I told you guys, Willful sin opens up doors, whether it's witchcraft or whatever the case may be, or like lust demons, okay? And that's, that's, that's one thing that keeps men in bondage in these last days, the demon of lust, all right? And, uh, I'm, you know, God has been really speaking to me because he's showing me that many men are, are struggling with that sin. Like I tell you guys, the only way you're going to overcome it, the only way, the only way you're going to overcome your lust is by fasting and praying. you got to be willing. you got to be willing to suffer. You have to be willing to deny yourself. Not many people are doing that. And just like I said, guys, many people will live for the devil because it's easy. You don't have to say it says you could live however you want. Do do what that will. The law is done away with. You could just live however you want. Okay, you're saved, you're saved, and you don't have to do anything else. You don't have to fight. You don't have to put the armor of God on. You don't have to repent. You don't have to obey God. You don't have to do that. Do what that will. And there's many people who believe in that, not just the worldly people, but also the so-called Christian. Don't be deceived, brothers and sisters. Don't be deceived. Remember, the way is narrow. And because the way is narrow, you're going to find yourself alone, man. But embrace it. At this, at this stage in my life, guys, now it took me five, four or five years to get to where I'm at. It took me about four or five years to accept this. You got to embrace it. Embrace the struggle. Embrace the times where you feel weak. Embrace the times when you're suffering for righteousness sake. Embrace it. Because this is all part of the plan. Man, this is all God's plan, man. This is all God's plan. So I, say, I tell people to embrace it. Embrace the struggle. Embrace the times where you feel like you want to give up but also embrace the times when he got back up. Also embrace the times that you know that at all these people out here living for the world, we remember what happened in the days of Noah when only eight, only eight souls got saved. You're going to be a part of that small remnant. Okay, you're going to be a part of that small remnant. And when you understand that, and when you start to seek righteousness, hold up, my camera's, uh, here they go. And when you start to seek righteousness, these agents are going to pop up. People ask me all the time, you know, Mark, what is an agent? An agent is someone who works for the devil whether it's willingly or unwillingly, because not everyone knows they work for the devil. Okay, Satan's kingdom keeps people in bondage. Satan is a deceiver. So he, the Bible says Satan deceives the entire earth. Now, there are some people who do, who do know what they're doing, who are conscious because the devil rewards them. When, he, when, when, the, uh, when the devil sends an agent your way to destroy the chosen one, to destroy the child of God, that agent gets rewarded in the kingdom of darkness. It's the same thing with the kingdom of God. You're doing the right thing. You're winning souls over for the kingdom through your obedience. God rewards you. Satan is a copycat. Satan does the opposite 
what God tells his children to do. Someone said Agent Smith. Yeah, that's real. The movie The Matrix is, is a real movie. But like I tell you guys all the time, people watch movies for entertainment. They don't watch movies to decode the message behind it. It's very spiritual. Okay. I tell people all the time, stop being religious and be spiritual. Be led by the Holy Spirit. Have a spiritual mind, which is life and peace. But to be carnal minded is death. That's in the book of Romans chapter 8. The book of Romans chapter 8 goes deep on that, spir on that spiritual stuff. It goes deep. Okay, so we have to strive to have a personal relationship with the Holy Spirit. You know, a lot of people, they get too religious and they get too caught up in that. Okay, nowhere in the Bible does God say, be religious for I am religious. He says to be holy for I am holy. What does it mean to be holy? It means to be set apart. I'm preaching today. Woo! I need some water. <laughs> what does it mean to be holy? It means to be set apart, guys. Be separate. Come out from among the world. Whatever the world is doing, you do the opposite. Because the world is blind. The world is lost. Okay, and, the, and Jesus says that the blind lead the blind, all fall into a ditch. Okay, with this AI coming out, you got the mark of the beast coming. And a lot of people are thinking, you know, uh, the AI is going to replace their jobs. And yes, it will. But what they do, what Satan's kingdom do, they put, they give you a problem. Thank you so much, Shiana, for the super chat. They give you a problem and they sell you the solution. Okay, uh, the narrow passage, there's 336 people watching, but only 136 likes. Oh, yeah, that's how it is. They don't, they don't show love to you, chosen ones. Remember, the world loves its own. If I was of the world, if I was on the, if I was on this live smoking a blunt, uh, having girls twerk, you know, uh, playing, you know, young thug, the, the, the likes will be up. But because I'm preaching righteousness, because I'm preaching the truth, they don't want that. They don't want to hear that. You know, but the agents, they watch. There's a lot of agents. Guys, there's 300 people in here. You really think that one person's not an agent? Like some people are laughing, but I'm being serious, guys. Even Jesus had 12 disciples. One of them was an agent. So what does that let us know? What does that let us know, guys? It lets us know that if you're in a group, if you're in a friend group, okay, you could be, you could be, um, not to say you could be without sin, but let's just say you're like Christ without sin, right? But the Bible says no man's without sin. So let me make this very clear because I know how some people are. No man, I'm just making this for example. Let's say Christ was on this earth today and he was preaching. You don't think he would not have agents watching him? If Christ was on the live stream preaching, there'd be agents watching too. Facts. Guys, you have agent family members. Let's go. You have agent family members, agent friends, uh, your coworkers. Some of them are agents. Okay, uh, at the churches y'all go to, some of them are Asians too. Some of them are Asians too, bro. So I don't expect the likes to match the views. I don't expect that. But what I do expect is that the Holy Spirit is going to work through my vessel to plant a seed in somebody, to get people to go back to Christ, to get people to repent. That's what I expect. Yes. Woo. Yes. That's what I expect. I don't care about the Asians. Let them watch. Let them watch. Okay, but like I said, also, let me, oh, let's talk about this too, since we're talking about the agents. <laughs> agents is a funny word, man. Also, I recommend those read Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. Someone want to leave that in the comments, go ahead. Okay, but one thing about these agents too, when they come your way, remember, the devil sends people your way. You have to know this. God sends people your way, the devil does too. So you have to use discernment. You have to use your discernment, guys, to know who's sent from the devil Who's sent from God? That's up to you. You can't ask me. People ask me all the time, Mark, is this a girl? Is she an agent? How do I know? Uh, Mark, this guy I'm talking to, I don't know if he's an agent. How, you can't tell me. You have to have the Holy Spirit to discern that. I don't know that dude. I don't know that female. I don't know them, bro. And I don't want to be, I don't want to say, oh, yeah, that person's an agent. That person's not. And, I, and I'm wrong. God's going to hold me to judgment. So I ain't doing that. So, I, so I'm not doing that. So you have to have discernment. You have to stop playing church. You have to stop being so religious and actually know the Holy Spirit, actually have the Holy Spirit. Okay, ask God for the gifts because to discern the Spirit is a spiritual gift. The thing is, a lot of people, they love the world. God's not going to bless you with spiritual gifts, guys, when you, when you love the world. He ain't, he ain't doing that, bro. I'm not going to bless my son with, with this and that, this and that, or my daughter with this and that if they're getting straight F's in school. No way. If they're doing the opposite of what I tell them to do, I'm not going to bless them with spiritual gifts. So what, what makes you think that God's going to bless you with the gift of discernment, the gift of, uh, the gift of uh, wisdom, knowledge, and all these spiritual gifts if you're being a disobedient, if you love the world? And a lot of people, guys, they're going to get the mark of the beast because they love the world. I feel bad for the Someone left a comment in that video, and I, I pinned it at the top because, like, that's real. The only people who are going to get the mark of the beast, guys, are those who love the world. The people who have a hard time giving it up, they're going to be first in lines. Well, I want, I want to say first in lines. Some of them will try to resist it, but they're eventually going to cave in. They're because they want to travel. Uh, they want to go to uh, the Travis Scott concert. They want to see Rihanna, you know, uh, or that Drake concert. All, and all it's, it's all going to be VR too. It's all going to be virtual reality, guys. Satan's matrix is all fake. It's all artificial. Okay, and once you take that shit, there's no going back. You're doomed to go to hell. No one can save you. Ain't no man can save you. Ain't no woman can save you. So people got to choose. That that jab, that, that uh, ooh, 
That, that, what they told y'all to get, that was just a test to see how many people will be live in fear, live in panic. Nowadays, you don't even need that no more. You can go wherever you want for most for, mo for the most part. For the mo you can go wherever you want. But a lot of people, they caved in. Okay? Are you going to cave in when the, when the actual mark comes? A lot of people are. You know, a lot of people are. You know, someone said God's testing people. Yeah, he, he tests people. Yep. Yeah, the kingdom of God is real and eternal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. But yeah, I was always talking about these agents, right? Let me, not, let me not get off topic. When an agent comes your way, yes, use your use discernment. Use wisdom and knowledge. And if any man lacks, lacks wisdom, ask of God who gives it to you. But when an agent comes your way, they're sent to distract you. Ignore them. They keep, DM, they keep um, messaging you or DMing you or, you know, trying to lure you in. Okay? And one thing I know about these agents, they please to your flesh. Okay? You know, the woman in the red dress. I know you all saw the movie The Matrix. The woman in the red dress, came, she came disguised as Neo, everything Neo wanted. She looked so damn fine. I mean, she's not my type. <laughs> she's not my type, but, you know, that to Neo, that was it. And that's what the devil, the devil knows exactly what type of man, what type of woman you like. He knows, bro. He knows. And this is why you can't trust vibes and energy all the time. Okay? You got to trust the spirit. Okay? so Because the devil, they, he could give you good, you know, good vibes and good, and good energy too. So you can't always go off the vibes and energy. This is where you got to have, you know, be spiritual. Test the spirits because many false prophets and deceivers have entered into the world. So test someone's spirit. Mark, how do I test someone's spirit? Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. And like I said, guys, God's not going to give you the Holy Spirit if you're out here living for the devil, loving the world. And I know a lot of people don't want to accept this, but that's the truth. If you have a hard time accepting the truth, then, you know, what does Galatians tell us? Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Okay, a lot of y'all, y'all love the world and you just can't give it up. And see, when you love the world, you love the devil, man. I'll tell you straight up. If you love this world, you love the devil. Because who is the God of this world? The devil is. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3 to 4. Someone leave that in the comments. Because every time I say that the devil is the God of this world, there's always someone in their, in their emotions, their feelings. And see, well, a lot of people all these days, when truth is presented, they get so emotional. They get it all in their feelings. And I see, man, if I see a woman doing it, it's Eve, you know, Eve is, you know, that's her nature, whatever. So I'll give it up. I'll give her a pass. But when I see a man in his emotions and his feelings, bro, come on. When I first got the truth as a man, yeah, it hurt. It stung because that's what the truth, the truth does. It's a sword. It's a double-edged sword, sharper than a two-edged sword, okay? Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. But, at the, but I realized that's the truth. How can, I, how can I be emotional in my feelings? That's the truth. The truth is going to transform me. It's going to change me. It's going to lead me to become born again. It's going to lead me to repent. It's going to lead me to keep God's commandments. It's going to lead me to have faith in, in the Son Jesus, uh, the Son of God, Jesus Christ. It's going to lead me to that. That's what the truth is going to do. But people get all emotional, all in their feelings. Sky, stop that. As a man, like I said, a woman, you know, it's her nature. I'll give her a pass. I'll, get, I'll, <laughs> I'll give you Eve to pass, right? But, but even then, when the truth is presented, you should change. Especially when you have a man in your life, you know, who's trying to get you to stop being a 304. He's trying to get you to stop going to the club. And, you know, you know, try to get you to dress more modestly. That's a man that loves you. But women, they get mad at those type of men because they've been programmed. Okay, they've been following the devil all their life. They don't, they don't even know the way of righteousness. They don't even know when a man of God is present in their life. They don't even know because they've been loving on the devil all their life. All their life. Some of the, the sunset's nice. Yeah, it, look, it looks nice. Oh, wow, it looks way better than person, bro. Woo! Man, let me give you all a full view. Man, the camera, it, the camera don't do justice. Hold up, hold up. The, the, cam the camera don't do justice, guys. If only I could show you guys the real view. It looks nice on the camera, too. I guess it's because it's like, it's like auto-focusing. Yeah, it's like... Wait, hold up, hold up. All right, anyways, forget about that. <laughs> it looks... Man, it looks amazing, man. That's the only good thing about California. It just has the views. I mean, that's pretty much that's it. Okay, but... Going about these agents. Going about these agents. Okay, when an agent comes your way, just ignore them. They will piece to your flesh. Whatever your weakness point is, like I said earlier, the devil knows. He knows the type of woman you like, the type of man you like, um, or what type of the sin that you struggle with. The devil knows all that. Oh, yeah, he knows all that. So he's going to send an agent in your life to get you to go back to whatever sin that you struggle with. Okay, some of you guys struggle with, with pornography. Some of you guys struggle with, um, with masturbation, with weed, drugs, vaping, um, a homosexuality, all that, drunkenness, all that. Some of you guys struggle with that. So that's what the devil will do. He will send someone your way, okay? And someone who could come disguised as everything you ever wanted. That's how the devil works. Guys, I have testimony. <laughs> I, I'm laughing because 
Because I've been through this, bro. I've been, and it's funny because I overcame though. Yes, I overcame the devil. Woo! I overcame. And it's all just a testimony. And that's why I think God allowed that to happen to my life so I can inform you guys. So I can let you guys know. These agents, some people, guys, the agent came and destroyed them and they never recovered. They never, rec they never got back up. They never got their fire back up. They just surrendered to the devil. Some people are like that, guys, where they completely just, they gave up. There's a lot of people like that, guys. There's a lot of people who just, they surrendered. You don't want to be like that. Okay, the agent destroys you. Okay, the agent gets you to go back to your vomit, gets you to go back to your sin, or whatever the agent was sent to do, right? There's many things the agent can set you to do, okay? And yes, you're going to struggle, okay? Because remember, whatever you sow to your flesh, whenever you, when the more you feed your flesh, it's harder to get back into the spirit. Yes. Galatians chapter 5, verse, uh, the whole chapter 5 goes in on that. I believe it's in verse uh, 15 to 17, okay? So that's what will happen. Thank you so much, Joel, for the super chat. But the more you, the, when that agent comes your way, you're going to find yourself more in your flesh, more in your flesh, more in it, and it's harder to overcome, okay? Now, of course, guys, we're human beings. We're going to make mistakes. We're, I, don't, I, don't, I don't preach so holier than thou that you're never going to fall short. A lot of these pastors and all these other, all these other preachers, too, they're not going to tell you when they fall short. They're not going to tell you the, the sin they struggle with or, you know, when they, you know, when they fall short. It's because of pride, okay? It's because of pride. They don't want to, they want to make you all appear. They want to make themselves appear to be perfect and, you know, the righteous. Bro, what think about me, guys? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a man of God, so I say the truth. I can't let you all know, yeah, I'm fired up. Y'all. I'm fired up now, but last week or two, was it two? Well, about a month ago, actually. Three weeks, four weeks. You know, I fell short, bro. I was weak. Y'all saw I wasn't uploading a video. I haven't made it. I wasn't uploading a video for about a week. Okay. And, uh, you know, now sometimes when I don't upload a video, it's because I'm busy. You know, like, you know, like my baby, when my baby came on this earth, I didn't upload for, well, actually, they, they banned me. <laughs> uh, YouTube actually banned me for a week. Uh, when my baby, my baby was, man, that was some spiritual warfare, bro. I'm about to have a daughter coming, my, my, my first ever child, my first burn child. And then my, I go on YouTube, you've been banned, you can't post for seven days. Like, what the heck? But, you know, it's all good, though. I'm back, we back. Woo, we back. We back. Someone said pride goes before destruction. Yup, yup. These agents usually carry the spirit of a narcissist. Guys, we got to start talking about, let's talk about this. Since you, since you brought it up. A lot of people say narcissist is this, narcissist is that. Okay, and yes, narcissism, it's real. You know, people say it's a mental disorder. A narcissist is, guys, it's a demonic spirit. Okay, the first narcissist on this earth was the devil. He was the first one. So anyone who's, who's operating under that spirit it has, has, not to say that they're a demon or they're a devil. Now, some of these narcissists are devils. Yes, some of them are. But some people, they're operating under that demonic spirit. So we got to start calling a narcissist what it is. We have to get down to the root of it. It's a, someone, it's a demon using the vessel. That's what it is. Someone says, okay, let me read that comment real quick. Uh, Ro Romans chapter 3, verse 23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace. The channel is moving so fast through the redemption that is in the Christ Jesus whom God. Yes, yes, sir. Yep. That's facts. That's facts. That's facts. I'm getting baptized this Saturday in Jesus' name. That's what's up, Noah. Yeah, we all got to get baptized, man. Everyone, every, I hope everyone in here, there's 446 people in here. Even the people who haven't liked the video but are watching, <laughs> I hope you get baptized too, man. I, I hope you guys, you know, get right with God. All of us, even myself too. We all got to get right with God because in these last days, guys, the only one who's going to save us is God. The Bible says riches profit not in the day of wrath. Okay, you're not going to be able to buy or sell unless you get that shit. Unless you get that, that mark. We got Elon Musk, the guy, the, the people who people worship like a God. I don't know why people look up to these human beings like God or something like that. That's weird. You don't think that, to me, that's a mental illness. We, everyone say this is a mental illness. That's a mental illness, right? A mental illness is looking up to someone like a God, looking up to celebrities like they're idols. That's a mental illness. Uh, these rappers, like, I don't know why people do that, bro. That's, to me, that's, that's weird. That's weird, man. Uh, if only people idolize, you know, uh, Jesus and Yeshua and what he did for you. If only people idolize that. If only people idolize the most I got, the God, the creator of all things. If people, and people, people ain't going to uh, idolize him or worship him and praise him because it's spiritual. And many people are fleshy. They're carnal. Many people are carnal, man. Someone said money is the root of all evil. Yep. Yep. Someone said, hey, man, I got baptized in May this year. That's what's up. Yeah, keep. I, I love to see that, man. I love to see that. Yeah, when I got baptized, guys, man, I, when I got up that water, I don't know what it was, bro, but, like, I felt like I was pure, bro. Like, 
I just feel like my sins were just washed away. Like real talk, real talk. It was very spiritual. I wish I recorded it. This is back in 2014. And I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't start really living for God until 2018. Um, yeah, I was, see, God was very patient with me, man. And that's what, you know, that's what I love about God so much, man. The, a human being, your friends, your family, you know, they, eventually they'll give up on you. But God, he will never give up on you, man. As long as he sees you uh, fighting and striving, even though you're not perfect, but you're striving, you know, you're doing the best you can. It's all baby step. That's what I love about God so much, man. And you know, no matter how much mistakes you guys made, no matter how much times you guys fell short, man, God is there. He's real. The Son of God is there too. All who are weary, all who you are tired, okay, you feel like giving up, you just need some rest, go to God. Okay, go to the Son of God, Jesus Christ. He will give you that rest, man. He'll give you that rest. All right, and when you're walking this path alone, like I said, yeah, I know you're suffering. Guys, you're suffering. You're suffering for righteousness' sake. But in the midst of that, someone leave 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. Someone, someone find that comment. I'm going to read that, or that comment, that verse. Okay? Uh, it's um, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. Oh, y'all spamming uh, Bible verses. I love to see that. Yeah, spam it. Go for it, bro. Spam it. Spam those Bible verses, bro. That's good. See, the, the, what the Bible does, what, what it did, one thing it did about me. Okay, Bible means basic, uh, basic instruction before leaving the earth. Okay? One thing it did to me, it, trans, it renewed my mind. It renewed my mind, it renewed, it renewed my spirit, and it made me look at life more spiritual. I was no longer looking at things carnally. Everything that something happened in my life, there was always a reason behind that, whether it was good or whether it was bad. Okay, and remember, always understand this. Genesis chapter 50, verse 20 says, everything that was meant to harm me would actually be used for good. I got testimony. All these agents who meant to harm me, who, who were sent by the devil, they all actually just helped me get to where I'm at right now in life. That's why I don't, I don't envy the wicked. I don't hate on nobody. I don't, I don't, I don't. You know, I pray on my enemies. I pray for them because, like I said, Satan's just using them. It's the devil's just using them, guys. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunately, too, when it's a family member, someone who you knew all your life. That's sad, bro. But, hey, you got to go through this on this narrow path. That's why it's not easy. Strive to enter into the narrow gate. For many, I say to you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able to. Luke chapter 13, verse 23. Yeah, okay, there you go. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. Thank you so much, Godspeed. He says... It says, um, and after you have suffered a little while, the God, of all, the God of all grace, who has called you into his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. There you go. Thank you so much, bro. There you go. Psalms chapter 37, verse 5 says, it says, uh, damn, the chat is moving super fast. Commit that way into the Lord. Trust it also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Yup. Yup. Facts. God has not given us a spirit of fear. Facts. Yup. Uh, thank you so much, Michelle, for the super chat. She says, your baby was protected from the agents that would have been exposed to her during those seven days. It was protection. Seven is where heaven and earth meet. It was a perfect number completed. Well done. Uh, I don't know what that means, Michelle. I was banned from YouTube for seven days. It wasn't from no agent. <laughs> it was no agent or something like that. But uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Someone says, what if you're not chosen? Stri strive to enter that ne uh, narrow gate. Strive to be chosen. Strive for it. Strive. Think about the time where you strive to make money. You strive to impress that female. You strive. You were doing everything. You were acting like a beta male. You were acting like a simp. You bought her flowers. Nothing wrong with buying a girl flowers. But you were doing all the action. She wasn't giving you no attention. But you were striving to try to please her. Why don't you use that same energy to God, bro? And I know a lot of you guys can relate to that because we were all once Adam. Let me explain that real quick. What I mean by we were all once Adam, okay? Adam was a first simp. Adam was the first man who allowed, you know, a woman to lead him, you know, and a lot of us, all of us men, in the, in the, before we became, to, before we came to God, we were operating on that. We lived to please women, you know, bro, snap out of that, snap out of it, snap out of it, bro. So he said, how do I strive to be chosen? Or, uh, you know, or he said, how do I, how do I know if I become chosen? Strive, bro. Strive to enter to the narrow gate. Strive. All that energy and time you put into the wrong things. Now use that same energy and time into the right things, man. Put it into the right things. Someone said, Mark, do you, do you watch horror movies? Uh, I actually, I had to stop watching horror movies. The reason why I had to stop watching this is because when I would watch it, I would get nightmares, bro. Like, a lot of the times. You know, now, I'm not going to be like these religious people. Oh, it's a sin to watch horror movies. Listen, you, you make your own decisions. I ain't like those people, bro. But personally, for me, I had to stop watching it. And I never really liked, actually, yeah, I did. <laughs> I used to like that, uh, what's that movie? What's that dude with the mask? 
uh, that white mask was that? Oh, Jason. <laughs> there you go. I used to love that movie. The Jason movie. I used to love watching those movies, man. Freddy and Jason, all that. Yep, there you go. Yeah, Jason. <laughs> I, <laughs> I used to watch that movie. I used to, that's the only horror movie I really liked. Um, yeah, that's probably the only the only series I would watch a lot, but but yeah, you're a chosen generation. Yep. Uh one Peter chat. Yeah, yep. One Peter chapter two verse nine. So I'm gonna leave that verse two. So I'm gonna leave that verse two. Mark, it feels hard. It feels hard to walk a narrow path. Wait, I'm kind of behind on the chat, guys. It feels walked hard to walk the narrow path. Being alone is really hard, but I just try my best to stay with God. And the agents come. Yeah. Yep. The de I, I, I can tell you guys all the time. The devil doesn't like when you're on the narrow path. So he's going to send you agents. But yes, you're going to find yourself alone. You're going to find yourself isolated. But in the midst of all that, guys, treat yourself. Okay. You've been doing, you, you've been doing good in your spiritual journey for six months. Uh, reward yourself. If it, you know, that keeps you going. Keeps you going. Every, it's always good to reward yourself. And so, God will reward you and use that reward to reward yourself. Okay, whatever it is he blesses you with, use it to reward yourself. Absolutely. You don't want to be, when I'm talking about being alone and isolation, guys, I'm not saying to lock yourself in your room all day. Don't do that. That's unhealthy. I'm not saying to do that. Okay. Always go out, go out in nature. Spend some time in nature. Go to the beach. I know some people don't live by a beach, but nature is everywhere. You know, na nature is everywhere. So in the midst of all that, guys, continue seeking God's kingdom and his righteousness because things will be added into you. So just keep on doing that, man. Keep on striving to, to uh, walk that narrow path, man. Like I said, it's not easy. You know, there's times when you're going to fall short. Uh, there's times when you feel like giving up. Uh, when you feel like you're, you're sad, you know, the more wisdom, the more knowledge, the more sorrow, the more, uh, the more knowledge, the more grief. You're going to go through it. You're going to go through it, man. But yeah, keep that fire going. Yep. Keep that fire going. Keep that, keep that, uh, keep that fire going, guys. And anyone who comes into your life and you kind of feel like they're trying to dim your light, because that's, that's one thing about these energy vampires, one thing about these demons, one thing about these devils, okay, that work through these vessels, all right? They try to drain you of your energy. They try to strip your, the light away that God has gave you. They try to strip it away from you. So that's why you got to cut people off. Don't hesitate. I don't care how pretty she is. I don't care how pretty he is for you, for you ladies, okay? I don't care, bro. You got to cut them off because it's either going to be between you or God because when it's time for us to get judged, we're all going to be judged. They're not going to come and you know, well, this person calls me to do this. You can't say that to God, bro, because you had a conscience, okay? You, had, you, you as a man or you as a woman had a decision. So no blaming people. Be accountable. Someone said a cutoff game is strong. I, <laughs> that's fact. Hey, as a chosen one, your cutoff game has to be strong, bro. Facts, 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 facts. Your cutoff game has to be strong, man. A lot of people are cutoff game weak, and that's why, you know, they're, you know, they keep following this in, following this in over and over again, every other week, every other day, because they, they have a hard time cutting people off. And also, too, speaking of that, cutting, cutting, when I talk about cutting people off, it's not only, it's not only in the in the in the real world. Even on social media, you got to cut people off in there. If they ain't, they ain't posting the right things, they just you know unfollow. You know, it's good to do that like every season, okay? Or even in your house, you have certain objects that you got to remove every like four or five months. Remove certain, uh, certain things. You got objects that, that your ex-girlfriend, your ex-boyfriend gave you. Throw it away. Your cutoff game has to be strong. I know some of you guys are laughing, but it's real, bro. It's real, bro. This is real. This is real, man. I know sometimes it can kind of I can come off making it laugh or something like that, but I'm I'm serious right now, guys. I'm serious. Someone's like, go no contact. Yep. I mean, but when you're going no contact, don't even think about the person. Be busy. Busy. But a lot of people are busy be, uh, gossiping. A lot of people are busy being nosy. Mind your business. Mind your business. People ask me this all the time. Mark, why don't you show your family? Why don't you show your wife, your, your, your children? No, mind your business. Why you, why do you, what? That's weird. When other men tell me that, like maybe another girl, you know, she, I don't know. You know how Eve is. But when you have other men say that, y'all weird for that, bro. I can't imagine me telling another man, another, another uh, content creator I watch, hey, why don't you show your wife? Like, bro, what? Y'all weird, bro. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. Y'all weird for that, man. I was like, hey, you were in a three-year relationship with an agent? Man, that's all bad, bro. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Yeah, yep. Uh, Mark, do you think horror movies open doors? In my life, they did. In my life, they did. Like I said, guys, I don't want to come off overly religious like some of these people, but 
um, I had to stop watching it. That's my walk. We all have a, have a, have a personal relationship with God, so He can inform you certain things that you got to stop doing. Okay, so that's just that's just my walk. My walk. Okay, it could be different for you. You know, me, I'm, I'm spiritual, spiritually, I'm sensitive to certain things. You know, and that's why it's like, dang, I wonder why God gave me this and that, but I don't question why God gave me this and that. So I just, I'm just thankful. You know, no matter the ups and downs, I always give him thanks and praises because, hey, I could be I could be gone. I could be deleted. I could be still a slave to Satan's kingdom. So God delivered me from all that. So I'll never question why he does this and that, why he cuts off certain people. I'll never, you know, why I have to leave this alone or whatever. I'll never question. Never question God, man. It's very foolish to do that. Thank you so much, uh, David, for the for the super chat. I don't know why it's not letting me click on it. It ain't letting me click on it, David, but I appreciate you, man. I think you said something, too. Dang, that's messed up, man. It ain't letting me sh see it. Mark, how do I give up that sin? What sin? What sin are you talking about? I mean, any sin. I don't know if you're just now tuning in. My, my phone will not stay straight. I got to get a new tripod. Next time I go live, guys, I'm getting a new tripod, man. That's the one thing about making YouTube videos. You got to spend so much money on all this extra stuff, man. But this is just not it, man. Someone says, where am I? I'm in California. I'm actually at the bar. You, you guys from the Bay Area? I'm, at, I'm on the rooftops right now. It is not. It is not. I, it doesn't say straight. I got to get a new tripod. Someone says, Mark, show me your dog. I don't have a dog. Well, actually, my family has a dog. doesn't live with me. doesn't live with me. Mark, I finally caught a live and watched you for months. That's what's up. You kind of joined kind of too late, though. <laughs> I'm, 47, I'm, <laughs> I'm 47 minutes in, but it's all good. I'll post this on my channel tomorrow. It's all good. Make sure you guys turn on the notifications. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. We're going up, guys. I got my fire back. Woo! I got my fire back. Hey, 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 hey. I told y'all. I t And see, that's why, guys, I had to make that video when I fell short. I had to because I have to let people know other sides of it, man. I have to let people know the other sides of the story. You know, when I got my fire back, yeah, I'm, hey, hey, I'm feeling good, stuff like that. But there's times when I, I'm sad, bro. There's times where I feel like giving up. There's times where I'm weak. Yes, there's times when my body is given over to temptation. I got to let you all know the other side, too. And I'm real, bro. We got to we gotta keep it real with the people. If people, like, use that against me, because that's what demons do. Demons love to use your past against you. They love to use your weaknesses against you. They love it. They love it. But let a demon be a demon. And let you chosen ones, let you be a chosen one. Woo! Someone said, we all fall and get back up. Yup. Yes, sir. I struggle with fornication. Someone says, uh. Thank you so much, Tia, for the super chat. She said tripod. <laughs> she said tripod. Wow, I appreciate you. That's real love right there. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if that's a, that's a grass girl. Thank you, sis. Appreciate you. Someone said, that. have I seen Sound of Freedom? I keep hearing that movie. Is that movie good, guys? The Sound of Freedom? Where, where can I watch that movie at? Where can I watch The Sound of Freedom at? I keep hearing people talk about that movie. What is that movie about? My tribe. This tri Look at this. This is trash, bro. This tripod is trash. Oh my goodness, guys. Hold up. This tripod is trash, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, guys. All right. I got the message off. Took me two hours to make this live. The wind is going, the wind is going crazy right now. Uh, but I'm just like, guys, stay on the narrow path. You're going to be alone. Not for long. Just for a season. If you, if you, if you strive, if you desire, remember the Bible says, The scripture says, delight yourself in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. The thing is, a lot of people are not delighting themselves in the Lord. A lot of people are delighting themselves in their flesh. They're delighting themselves in sin. Okay, so renounce all of that. Repent. Okay, be set apart. Okay, strive to enter that narrow path, you know, and God will definitely start to restore to you. He will start to add it up to you. I'm telling you guys, when I wasn't seeking God's kingdom, when I wasn't seeking his righteousness, things would go downhill in my life. You know, and one thing about me, I noticed that I would kind of blame people. And God showed me, you know, I'm reaping what I sowed. Okay, so no, don't blame nobody. Don't blame nobody. Be accountable. Hold yourself accountable. 
and blame yourself. I'm the reason why things are going wrong. I'm telling you guys, when you do that, you're going to start to grow spiritually, emotionally. You're going to start to grow, guys. So hold yourself accountable. Don't blame nobody. I mean, we could blame the devil this, the devil that. Come on, bro. It's not always the devil. It's not always the devil. Someone said the, the Sound of the Freedom is a great movie. Okay. Oh, it's in the theaters? Someone said she's in the theaters. Okay, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch that movie on... Um, Ooh, I'm gonna watch that movie on Saturday then. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch that movie and I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the I haven't been to movie theaters in years. Honestly, guys, when I watch the movies, I fall asleep. But I've been seeing a lot of people talk about that that movie, so I'm gonna go watch it on Saturday, Saturday night. Um, and I'll let you guys. I'll probably do a live on Sunday on this channel. I'll do a live on Sunday on this channel to talk about what I saw. Cause when I watch movies, guys, I always look for the message behind it. I always look for the code, the code behind the message. So. Um, I'm going to let you guys know what I see with my spiritual eyes. You know, because a lot of people, they watch the movie just for entertainment. Not me. You know, I watch the movie. What, what are they try to tell us? So I'm looking forward to that. Thank you guys for you guys. The comments. I'm, I'm going to check that movie out on Saturday. Saturday night, we out. And like I said, I'll make that movie on Sunday. So, uh, Jasmine said it's been finished for five years and Disney has been fighting against it. Wow. I wonder what that movie's about. Okay, I'm gonna definitely watch that for sure, for sure. All right, I'm, I'm gonna watch that. What city am I in? I'm by Oakland. I'm right next to Oakland. Yeah, the movie shows what what goes down to us and how many politicians EGC are involved, but it never calls them out by name. Controlled ops. People gotta think if they really wanted that movie shut. Oh wow, man, y'all making it sound interesting, bro. Okay, I'm gonna check that out. A narrow path. I'm gonna check that out. But yeah, guys, it was a blessing. It was an honor. When someone said, I don't go to the movies no more, it's about child trafficking. I don't know about that, bro. I, I don't know about that. Child trafficking? Going to movie? What? I don't know about all that, man. He said child trafficking, man. Uh, thank you so much, DJ, for the super chat. It says, I ended a two-year toxic relationship back in March. After ending it and going... Wait, this. And going on therapy, I realized... She had extreme narcissist traits. Shortly after that, I was led to your channel. Thank you, Mark. Much love, brother. Wow. All praises, man. All praises to the Most High. All praises. And one thing about these demons, a.k.a. narcissists, they try to lead you away from God. That's what, that's what, that's what a narcissist does. That's why I told you guys. It's a spirit that's operating through them. But, guys, my, my, tra my tripod is going left and right. It's, it's going all over the place. So next time you catch me live, I'm going to buy a better tripod. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on my, I'm, I'm going to upload this on my channel tomorrow. Members get to watch it earlier, but I'm going to upload my main channel tomorrow. Y'all stay safe. Y'all take it easy. I love you guys so much. God bless you too, Taz. God bless all y'all watching. Thank you guys for liking the video, subscribing to the channel, sharing this. Man, y'all keep me going. Not only does God keep me going, the support keeps me going. Y'all showing love. Y'all liking the video. That's a blessing, bro, for real, real talk. So I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.